Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Polybridge 3. Now we're currently working through the campaign. We've completed all of these levels for unbreaking and under budget and we're on the two four sheep difficulty levels which were the hardest until they introduced this guy Roll Top Avenue but we're not getting onto that until we've completed these. So Arctic Tundra rolling by. This is the level and what have we got to do here? Okay so there's a little there's a little Vesper. He's got to get across over that way. That's pretty easy although no it isn't. Can you see this is like darkened out so whilst we can build stuff in here look it goes red in that area we cannot build a bridge across there we've got to get this guy across without a bridge so i'm guessing that's where this comes in handy we've got a bulldozer here we've got two sets of wheels are we gonna have to build like a bridge that this that this guy pushes along but first i am a billionaire but it's hard to become one every day i wake up 3 a.m. Sit on the toilet as I play this video sponsor, Monopoly Go. Today, I'm not going to be the race car or the battleship. That ship has sailed. It's the top hat for me. Look, we've swapped hats. By 6 a.m., I have passed Go 18 times. That is profit. By 9 a.m., I'm collecting rent, investing in more properties, upgrading to hotels. There will be no flipping Monopoly boards when things don't go my way. No, I will put in the work. By 3 p.m., a community chest. I've helped my friends, but will they help me? 6 p.m., the board is complete. Time to try another. They're based off world famous cities. I will become a zillionaire, and you will too. By clicking the link in my description or scanning the QR code on screen, you can download Monopoly Go today. It's 11 p.m. now. Time to get off the toilet. So what I'm thinking, we're going to have to do like, if we do like something so we can have a road at that level. I, mean, I don't really know how long this has to be, but all I'm thinking is we need to do road at that level. So then we've got that. We've just got to attach these together so that it doesn't fall apart. So if I just do like that sort of thing then yeah this comes along this oh my goodness <laughs> I was going to say, this pushes it across. Yeah, but then it absolutely died. Okay, what I'm thinking, if I just rope from that wheel to that wheel, that should keep these, like, at the same sort of distance. I think that should help quite a lot. Yes, so that's good. That goes across here. Oh, and then, <laughs> then I forgot to actually build a bridge. Level failure. So, yeah, I didn't realize down here that there's a big, there's a big river. And this is where we can build a bridge. So, if I just do, like, that, go, boosh. Then we have our bridge in. I assume I can just, like under trust this maybe add some wall braces so that's pushing against the wall so that should be reasonably strong the thing is i don't know how much these wheels weight but oh boy oh boy 19 there yep <laughs> that stress went pretty high so we probably want some steel down here i'll just do steel for now and then i can make it cheaper afterwards now to be fair we're only at like half budget which apparently is impressive but oh no so i don't know if you saw that but we literally got like we got nowhere. Like, look, look where the moped is. Look where our road is. Oh, no. So I think what I need to do, I need to build this like over the front of this wheel, like way more. And to be fair, because this is going uphill, this probably needs to like start way lower. Like I reckon whatever that distance is should be like that distance. And it probably means I don't need like that stuff at the back. But I don't know. I might get that wrong. But yeah, OK, let's let's just do a bit of that and see if that has helped stuff. So. <laughs> My my bridge under here is definitely not strong enough. I'll tell you what I might do. I might just do a little tension bridge. So basically, if I just put wooden pieces like that in, then just grab some cable, go boosh, 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 boosh. Then that is probably way stronger than the truss I just had. And it's a similar sort of price, I think. Oh, it's not stronger. <laughs> how did that fail so much? All right, okay, reinforce that with a bit of steel. Let's see how we get on. Oh, it doesn't jump onto it. Oh, no. Okay, so the moped did jump onto it. I reckon if I just sort of try and take the impact a bit better. So we add a bit of a, a bit of a downhill. And hopefully as he jumps off, yeah, it's a lot smoother. Oh, no, quick. Oh, look, he survived. Sort of. Yeah, so that's because our bridge underneath failed. So let's just make that a little bit stronger with a bit of steel. And then this time, oh, such a smooth transfer. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't make it. No, Mr. Moped, where are you going? Don't do it. Okay, so I do still need one more bit of road just out the end like that. So smooth jump onto, drives across, <laughs> jump. Oh, no, I didn't make it. All right, let's just move all these bits of road to the left just to make them longer. Then hopefully it'll drop. Yes, up the top. That gets to the flag. Okay, we've done it for 45 grand. That puts me in the top 
44%. Not great. Tyler did it for 31 grand as well. All right, all right. Let's make this cheap. I reckon I can make this like super cheap. Because all I really want to do is make this out of wood, I think. So if we do that sort of thing, and then thinking I can do that down to there, and then that down to there. That's probably going to break, but we'll see how it gets on. I mean, maybe turn, turn the stress on as well so we can see. Oh, it's good. It's good. Oh, that's way too... Look, that's 28 grand. I saved so much money. Oh, it failed at the end. <laughs> but oh, I'm the top 6% now. Beat you know who. Um, I imagine I can make this wood now maybe because if you think everything above it this was made out of steel now it's just made out of wood which weighs a lot less so we'll try that we'll see oh no it didn't like that it did not like that at all can i maybe make that a bit bigger or is that just no okay that needs to be steel maybe the other side might be all right though yes okay so that's good 27 grand can i swap the cable with rope because that is a huge budget shave 25 grand no we can't <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I can do, I probably can make these like way smaller. Like bring these middle pieces up. The higher they are, the, the cheaper everything is. Bring like these up these up. We want to use as little wood as possible. Then I can do things like lower these roads just so they're not as high. And then we end up just under 26 grand. There is our bridge. It does fail at the end, but it doesn't actually count because it's after time. Top 3%, not bad. Let's have a look in the gallery. So the cheapest bridge is this. It costs nothing because <laughs> because they've they've cheated. Now the first legit one is this. I mean, is it legit though? I mean, <laughs> that is sketch. Yeah, loads of people using the old dangly road which has taken a new meaning in polybridge 3 uh, this looks like the first actual legit one it's by a mere engineer yeah oh that was perfect that jump at the end so good so, yeah all of these are very very similar oh look look do you see that strudel cheeky bit of lowercase rc propaganda there still guessing a 20 grand budget fair play <laughs> It was all about making this bridge a bit cheaper than I did, I think. And then at the other end of the gallery, check that truss out. <laughs> Someone who just took the opposite of my advice there. Um, and also, hi, RCE. Hi, that man. I'm liking your truss work down there. It's an upside down red helmet. Anyway, oh, we've then got the Nifty sponsored solution, complete with RCE propaganda built into the bridge. Nifty for all your Nifty needs. And don't forget, you can enjoy a cup of Nifty out of an Architect Tears mug, guaranteed to make your Nifty taste 100% better. RealSevelEngineer.com. Now, we've then got this one. Wow, look at that car. Look, it's got like walls. <laughs> <laughs> it's so detailed. This one where we have, ooh, under, underwater RC propaganda made out of cable. Very... <laughs> Very nice. I've just seen what, what that is. Very large counterweight at the end. The counterweight is made out of wood, which sort of defeats the point of it being a counterweight, in my opinion. Now, RC propaganda, and then they've drawn they've drawn like a little lighthouse, like on a little little island over there. Oh, we've then got Alan solution. Here he is. Here he is. <laughs> Alan. 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 <laughs> yeah, this one. Oh my god, the car is moving. What the it bends in the middle. So it goes up there. I don't know why there's a random bit of road there. Oh, it's just so it doesn't fall off, because <laughs> <laughs> the entire thing just fails at the end. And what does it say? RCP. Right, the pie. That's so rude. Why is this guy so rude to me? It's RCE, not RCP. Anyway, I do like, is that, I feel like they've done like a hard hat down there. Like, although they hate engineers, they can't not put a cheeky bit of hard hat under their bridge. Uh, dog booties. <laughs> <laughs> Great name. Not sure about your, your logo you got hanging there. What is going on here? Why the counterweights? <laughs> Why is everyone doing counterweights? Then we got another one saying hi, hello. And then we're on to the next level, which because we're doing like every other, we're on to oh, the hydraulic levels. So this is called hydraulic. Oh no, this is going to give me a, a my hydraulic grain. That's my grain with hydraulic in. Never mind. But look at all these hydraulic phases. Oh, how do people enjoy these types of levels? Okay, so what have we... Oh, no. What have we got to do? What have we got to do? So we got a police car here. It's got to end up at the flag, which is behind it. However, it's got to go all the way to this side where there's a reverser, and it's got to go via these two checkpoints, of which there's a boat and a space shuttle flying low. Okay, so what order do the, the stop... Okay, so when 8.2 goes... The shuttle goes afterwards. So 8.2 down. Okay, so basically, I think... 
If I just turn my grid on, I can probably just do a line from there down to there. Push that into place. And then what I'm thinking, literally, just do like one of those bridges with like, if I just do a truss under there, and then from this point, I want to do a hydraulic, actually, maybe not hydraulic yet. Let's do, let's do steel. If we do that sort of thing for the support, hydraulic from there, then that should drive to that point. Hopefully stop. Yes. And then it gets lifted up. Then I think it needs to get to the to that stop point. Yeah, okay, okay. I think I think in my head, I, I know how this works. So if I just put another hydraulic in there, expand that, then that should go like twice as high. Oh, it broke. I think it did go twice as high. Meaning if I then just make this strong enough, then it should go up, get that stop sign. Come, oh, it's coming back down. Then, oh no, then both the vehicles go. Oh, I do wonder though. I do want, let me just like copy this. And then just see if I... Oh, no. I was going to say if I got it to, like, stop in the middle, that would be cool. But I think if I just grab this, copy it to the other side, boosh, shove a joint there, then I I think I can just hydraulic phase this, like, so it, so it works. All right. So basically, once it gets to A2, I want that to move. It gets to the top. Oh, no. I don't I don't actually think I want it to do anything there. So if I say remove all, then once the police car gets to there, the, the shuttle will go. Yes, yeah, so that one remove all as well. No, actually, actually. Actually, no, after the shuttle goes, I want this to move up. Do I? <laughs> I think I do. So if I say add all there instead, then I think the bridge will be... Oh, I'm going to have to press play. I'm getting confused now. All right, so this goes down. It gets that. Nothing happens. The shuttle goes. Yes. And then once the shuttle's passed, this lifts up. Oh boy. Oh boy. Is it going to break? Yeah. Okay. Then we got that, but then it came back down. I don't want it to come back down. So basically, once we get A3, I want to say remove all. So then how does that affect stuff? That just stays up there. Decent. Oh no. Then it came back down. I think it came back down because that was still on all of them, like when the shuttle finished. So I think if I get rid of that, but I say come back down when the boat's finished. Okay. So let's see what happens. So it goes to there. The shuttle goes. We drive to to the to the edge the bridge should go up then the boat comes oh the boat didn't come oh the boat comes when we get there okay and then as long as that stays there we should just drive to the end oh it's gone back down the bridge went back down that's fine we completed it i have no idea what was happening in there oh dear i'm in the top 10 percent oh me and hydraulics man we do not get on but to be fair to me to be fair to me to be fair to be fair you cannot deny that that worked. What did Tyler do? 65 grand. He's meant to be good at hydraulics. I haven't even shaved this yet. Like if we watch the stress, we could probably do loads, loads of shaving if we wanted to. To be fair though, I'm just, I'm just happy. Hydraulic level, first time. About a third of the budget. Easy, mate. Let's see what would happen if I did shave my, my solution though. So yes, base, it's literally my solution, I think. Although, oh, it's only got one hydraulic. Clever. Wait, what the hell? There's only one movement. Hang on, weapon there. So it starts down. That goes. It goes to that side. That goes up. And then it just drives across. Yeah, I don't think the, the number of movements actually makes a difference, to be fair. There are plenty of ways to solve this. But uh, it's all about just making making a cheap bridge, limiting your number of hydraulics, limiting how low how low that was. Because I had like loads of steel under here. That's just one hydraulic holding all of that up. Fair play. Uh, quite interesting to see not everyone started like down like I did. Some people started up and then went down. So yeah, lots of different ways to do that one. That's cool. What's cooler though is going to the highest budget. So we've got, oh, we've got a frog. We have a frog. <laughs> is that his mouth moving? It looks like it's crying because it's got like blue hydraulics leaking out. Anyway, this one, R-C-E. That's, <laughs> that's the alternative spelling. That's the, oh, there it is. R-C-E. <laughs> the R's turned into the R-C-E. And oh, then the arch goes. Wow. <laughs> That was an incredible, like, I'm full of, a, that was a roller coaster of emotion, that, that replay. Hey, oh, what do we have here? We've got loads of foundations over there. Is that a, I was going to say, is that a knob lift? I think it is. I think it is. <laughs> RCE branded. Love to see it. Now this one, oh, a bit of a, oh, oh, oh wow. <laughs> how does, how do they get that movement? <laughs> oh, ooh, look at the black font as well for the RCE propaganda. Is that in road? I don't think I've seen like someone be that bold with colors. Fair play. All right, art CE. This is if I was an architect, basically. So is this a, this is going to be a vertical lift, isn't it? 
So if not floor one, not floor two. Floor three, please. Nice, like that. Although it is architecture, so don't like it too much. Oh, look, the entire thing comes back down. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Not gonna lie. Something I did see coming, the Nifty Sponsored Solution. Oh, look, it's trust. You can tell it's trust because it's labeled. That's a cool bridge, fair play. All right, then we got this one. Oh, RC propaganda falling down. Unveiling a vertical lift once again. The vertical lift seems quite popular on these levels. I mean, what's going on in here? There's like loads of... Loads of stuff. Oh, look. That, like, lifts over the top. So he can't drive before he's allowed to. This one. What is going on there? We've got a C in the air. There's, like, an E down there. What's that possibly going to spell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I waited till the end and nothing. Ha I thought I thought the C was going to join the R and the E or the other way around. Anyway, more. Ooh, we've split the real civil and the engineer in half. Are they going to put them back together? Yes, they are with the power of engineering and the hydraulic dampeners down there. This one. Hello, RCE. Hello, Avocado. Avocado. All right, what's Beezlebob got? Oh, we've got like a nice little an eye truss going on. And then. I love that this that middle hydraulic is so unnecessary. Oh, look out. It's Alan. Oh, Alan. 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 <laughs> oh, oh, man. There's a lock. There's a lock. Oh, ow. Oh, wow. Oh. It bent at the end. Again, a roller coaster of emotion. With all these hydraulic phases, there's so much story that can be told with these solutions. Oh, did you see that? Big old trap door there. Oh, my goodness. Where's the bridge gone? The bridge. Oh, my goodness. That's the front flip for style points. So many roller coasters of emotion. Honestly, this level has just like excelled your storytelling bridge knowledge. It's incredible, everyone. What's that going to do? Oh, look. The suspension that suspends lower and then ascends higher to get that one. Nice. And then back to the middle. It's a normal bridge. I wonder why no one's done that in real life. Like had a suspension bridge, but like made these bits like contract and expand like for a drawbridge. I mean, probably because this is poly bridge and not not real life, Matt. Anyway, what do we have here? Oh my goodness. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. People have been loving the hydraulics. Oh, look at that. That is some fancy handwriting. The fanciest of RCE propaganda. Put in with the cable stick. Is it cable stayed? I think it's more more suspension-y, actually. Is the entire bridge deck gonna... Whoa. It's so, like, flexible. It's like me back in my prime. The older you get, the less flexible you get. Right. Oh my god. What is that? What is that? <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. I feel like it's gonna be clever. So that bit moved up first. So as the boat goes, what's gonna happen here? I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. And... Nothing happened. It was just it was just coloring in. It was just coloring in. See, sometimes hydraulics look impressive, but they're not. All right, anyway, we're going back to the Arctic tundra. And we're on to the turbulent tethers. So basically on this one, we've just got to get the limo from this side over to that side. But we've got some big old planes in the way. And looking at this, everything goes at the same time. I mean, I don't really understand what's so, what's so difficult about that. I can surely, if I just get my curves in, I can sort of do that. I can unlock my tangents, which means I can go off in a completely random tangent. Like that time when I found out that sloths can hold their breath longer than dolphins. Like... Why does a sloth need to hold their breath longer than a dolphin? Does sloths even swim? I don't know. Oh, and then I've just noticed these move. They like spin. Oh, that's going to be really hard to deal with. <laughs> okay, so I think this is going to be an absolute nightmare. So I'm probably going to do this uh, just sort of like in my, at my own pace. And then for you guys, it's engineering time. Will my bridge design suffice? Oh, oh, oh. I gotta find the right way so that my bridge won't sway in a hurricane's view. But I gotta check the price so my nice bridge won't get ignored. I gotta climb the leaderboard so you enjoy it too. Oh, but I need some time to shape the design. Move some nodes and replace some parts with wood. Oh, and then the bridge might fall because I pushed it too far. So replace steel with wood and muscles. They are OP. But I gotta trim the bridge. I gotta trim the bridge. But I gotta trim the bridge. Bridge, bridge. I gotta trim the bridge. Bridge. The bridge. Ah. All right, okay, I think I've done it. We've just got to be patient at the start. And then hopefully after another another circular tree of that, then, then the limo goes. I've made that nice and smooth. We've got to wait there. And then that's nice and smooth. Nice. That was quite a hard level. Somehow I'm in the top 11%. Everyone seems to have spent like loads of budget. 
<laughs> like all the budget. And then fewer and fewer people spent less as you would expect. I came 400th, which ain't too bad. I'll take that. Let's see what the cheapest solution was. It costed zero because people are cheating. But this one, oh no, look at it. <laughs> I think this level definitely encourages that sort of behavior. Yeah, so all these cheap ones are going to be that. Oh, that one's sort of like banana, Bridgie. Um, oh, and it's only supports in the middle. That's actually quite cool. Yeah, it looks like most of these, they're just supported in the middle because then you're only having to worry about like a little bit of movement of your bridge, not the carnage of all three. Now, although, oh, look at this one with the wooden cables and just loads of loads of tension bridges underneath. Interesting. Anyway, more interesting is the Nifty sponsored solution. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the R, oh, the C, and the E. They've just done like normal trusses. Nifty, how do you do it? How do they do it? They make it look so easy. It's because they're fueled by Nifty. The engineer's brute. Anyway, what have we got here? Blunt force llama. Just, oh yeah, just bridge over the top. Ignore these dangly things. Who needs that? <laughs> Genius. We got Alan. Alan. <laughs> okay, so we got a face there. I don't know what is on top of that. It's like a car with like, it's like a portable rocket launcher. You can see like the flames and smoke coming off from underneath. We then got the, the C and the E just dangling about as well on their own faces. That was a very Alan solution. RCE is greater than Aliens Rock. Yes, it definitely means greater than in that situation. Usually it means wants to be, but when it's that way round, it means greater than Aliens Rock. Definitely. Definitely. Thank you. Um, although your your columns at the end they they look a bit bent there. I mean, I'm not I'm not going to judge. Like everyone's different, but I would have expect straighter engineered columns there. This one. Oh my good. Look at look at those. Look at those. <laughs> they have. Oh my. They spin all the way around. Oh look, they're on like little triangles. That's cool. Oh, actually, that's super clever. That's so clever. The bridge doesn't move. It's supported by the nodes, but because they're on triangles, like as that rotates, that just rotates. Oh my. Oh. That's so clever. I'm like, I was at first distracted by the by the efficient engineering, but there's actual like decent engineering there. They've made each node stay at the same point because they've worked out you get three points around your node. The middle of it stays the same. Just copy that down there. Connect all your, all your edges, all your points, and then you'll make a node stay still. Oh, that's so clever. Oh, look at this. Hi, RCE. Bilf down there. Is it a bilf? Is it a bilf? Let me know in the comments. Do we agree with that man? That under here, this is a bilf. I mean, not gonna lie, it's it's pretty good. I'm liking the arch over the top. Now what have we got? Oh, someone just did like a mega, mega tension bridge underneath, ignoring the the nodes above completely. Similar thing with this one. You can see like what's happening under the water. This time they didn't completely ignore the nodes above. <laughs> <laughs> We've got like a square kite flying around. We've got my one if it was made out of steel and made by an architect. This one where I think, have they just made a bridge that, yeah, they've just got the RCE propaganda, underwater propaganda. We've got to propagate the fish. Wait, is it called propagate? I don't think it is. <laughs> but the fishes will not be, they will not be architects. They will be engineers. Yeah, lots of bridges that go over the top. This one, the middle is still supported by the middle node thing, even though there's an arch that goes all the way across. Here, oh, look at this. Hang on, let's press pause. What we got? RCE with the nift. T. <laughs> they got like the tea bag and the little string and everything. In the architect is mug, of course. Versus aliens rock. No, not aliens rock. Aliens suck because it's a it's a thumbs down arrow. Now you will have noticed he doesn't even play the game anymore. Not because he completed all the levels, just because uh, he couldn't compete with me. Yes, Nifty. Thank you for that, little holes. <laughs> oh, I gotta love Nifty. Oh, look, this is another one that shows using the the moving supports above just to create a node that like doesn't move so they just they did the like triangle things like up in the air and then just did a cable from that middle point down to the bottom it's so clever i like that i really do like that right well, anyway we made more of a dent we're over halfway through both of these levels now uh, so it won't be long till we finally get to the new level by which time there's probably a new level out already uh, but considering we did we did hydraulics i'm i'm gonna say decent episode you did all right matt and on that note peace love and bridges bye